What's up, party animals? My name is Kezzy, and welcome to It's Wednesday, and I'm doing an upload in the middle of the week, and I'm gonna do one at the end of the week, so yay! I wanted to talk about some Twitter drama that I have been privy to. So, there's a creator of a TV show, and their name is Vivzy Pop. They make Has Been Hotel, and another show called Hell of a Boss. Now, this is an adult comedy show, and the drama has sparked with the idea of adult comedy as a whole. A lot of people are taking offense to the idea that Vivzy Pop's animations and shows are heavily reliant on swearing and sex. And yeah, these are things that are very prevalent in her animations. And I can get why that people would be upset by that, from shows like South Park and shows like Family Guy that rely absorbently heavy on gratuitous violence and upsetting imagery or hypersexuality or, you know, insulting language, this can be upsetting for a lot of viewers. And it can kind of seem like a cheap cop-out when every other word is a <laughs> swear word. And that can really upset a lot of viewers. Things like South Park and Family Guy use that as shock humor, while Vivzy Pop doesn't really seem to take that path as shock humor. I see a lot of parodies saying, hey, you know, they're saying, you know, sex words and bad words and they're being so mean and bad and it's, and it's foul potty mouth. When in reality, they're characters who live in hell. So of course they're going to be a little sexual. Of course they're going to say some bad words. It's the place you go when you've been a bad. Vivzy herself, Vivian herself, went on Twitter and was just like, Oh man, I have so many adult comedy inspirations. Things like South Park and Seth MacFarlane. Oh, I love those people who do such great comedy. And those groups actually use vulgarity as a much bigger point of shock humor than what Hell of a Boss or Has Been Hotel actually does. Her comment, now while I would be fighting people on Twitter, especially as a big creator such as that, isn't really a good look. Saying that your content is expired by these kind of shows kind of undermines Has Been Hotel and Hell of a Boss a lot more because the shows themselves actually have an overarching theme that goes through the shows. Whereas individual episodes of something like South Park takes a look at some sort of socio-political thing and pokes fun at it. Whereas Hell of a Boss, there's an overarching story of like found family in dire circumstances. Even though Hell of a Boss doesn't really use swearing and crude humor as a big punchline most of the time, just people are using that as if it's a, as, as, as if it's a real attack. When it's not, crude humor can be funny. Poop butt fart. <laughs> Isn't that a funny thing to say? And so out of context, those kind of shock humor can really be humorous. Whereas, you know, situational humor can also be funny depending on the context. There's even a character who, in that show, doesn't swear as much as the other characters. And so when they swear, it actually provides more impact. Because you're like, oh, whoa, the Goody Two-Shoes character said a bad word. My goodness. <laughs> so... That's it. I just wanted to talk about that really quick because it happened a couple days ago. And I think it has something to do with Digital Circus. I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.